Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. This is the King's Van by Klassen. It is based on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2020, so the newest facelift. In this video, I will show you the complete exterior interior and we will have a look at the luxurious details inside. And here you can see that this King's Van, the new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, is massive. It is 7 meters in total and that's because it is a long version. But before we move on, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link is down below and I have amazing content special for you. So here in the front you can already notice that everything is in the body color in white. Also here at the bumpers, the air intake on the hood and the grill. It has the Klassen emblem on the top of the hood. And this van has a six cylinder diesel engine producing 190 horsepower. So let's have a look at the side of the car and you can already notice the new rims. These rims have a gorgeous multi-spoke design and the size is not too big, it is 18 inch. So besides the blacked out windows, the exterior gives away a lot of its VIP status. Just look at the top, it has a round shaped ball which says that this car has a satellite television. It also has an additional cover, which might indicate panoramic roof. But before we have a look at the interior, the VIP seats, we will have a look at the driver seats. And this van weighs three and a half ton. So let's see if it is comfortable to drive this large King's van. Here on the side, you can notice the excellence lettering and the Klassen VIP emblem. So when I open the door, you can notice a Klassen lettering on the doorstep. So let's go inside. So entering is very easy and that is because the seating position is very upright. You can notice it has a new facelift design interior with a digital screen which is also a touchscreen. So it has the telephone settings navigation, radio media, and also the vehicle information like consumption. And it has the MBUX. Hey Mercedes. Ja, bitte. Ik möchte gern nach Düsseldorf fahren. Die route zum Ziel Düsseldorf wird berechnet. So that was a very quick German. But first of all, it has the touchpad system here. The turbine style air vents blacked out. And I really love the interior with the mocha espresso color, the beige wood. And this is the new key for the Sprinter. It is a new design of Mercedes-Benz, so gorgeous. And you can already notice that behind me there is a partition wall between the driver and the VIP passengers. And that makes me very curious what is behind. So it has a button down here. And I already can see a lot of lights, but before we have a look, I will show you this. A phone for the intercom. You can actually communicate and talk with the VIP passengers behind you. And with this button you can call the VIP passengers. First and second intercom line. It has two cup holders here at the center with a lot of space. And it also has the cup holders here at the dash, very identical for the Sprinter design, but also some storage space here at the end. From the window you can see a darker top which protects you against the sun. And it also has an additional hand grip with storage space on top and the cover. So moving alongside this van, it is massive. Just check out this rear. And speaking of the rear, have a look at the exhaust tips. Because these are made on the request of the client. And it has the massive AMG exhaust tips. So underneath there is a spare tire. And right here is the reversing camera, part of the 360 degrees camera package. The camera down here is for the VIP passengers to have a look at what's going on around the vehicle. Klassen emblem 
and the rear left side, and on the other side the exclusive lettering. So let's open it. The doors open very wide. And here you can see it has a lot of storage space. It is amazing with a subwoofer over here for your sound system. So let's close it. And finally, we will have a look at the interior. The orange illumination indicates that this vehicle is, of course, larger than 6 meters. It is a European regulation. So now let's have a look at the VIP interior. Let's open the door. And here you can see the footstep appears. And it has a gorgeous interior with a sofa. To pay some respect, I will put off my shoes. And it has a very big entrance in here. You have this wooden hand grip, so it's easy to go inside. And on the right hand side, you have this wooden stick, which says Festival de Vrec. It has pointy edges in the center. And I would definitely choose this if I were older. So let's move on into the interior. And let's take a seat here at the most luxurious part of this sprinter and I will leave this gorgeous wooden stick here in front of me so you can actually lay all the way back and this part can also be used as a bed you can actually lay down furthermore these pillows these are the armrests very soft and you can move them around so that there is more space or less space for each passenger and speaking of the passengers, there are USB slots in every corner for every seat. Also the wireless charging for your phone. And again for every seat, a glass holder. So on my right side you can notice the curtain buttons on the top. So let's open them. And you can notice that these curtains at the rear these are the VIP curtains, so they are independent from the other ones. So let's close them all. And on the right hand you can see a telephone, just like in the front. And this is to communicate with the driver in front of you. So you can press number 2, and then it rings. And with this button you can call the driver. On speaker. There's also a possibility to communicate with the people outside or the security guards that have to protect you. And very noticeable are these classic numbers to dial a phone number, also in Arabic. And this car is meant for someone in Kuwait, so you might expect a very good air conditioning system. So let's press the button and we will see how good it is. It's instantly cold in here, the heat is already outside. Furthermore it has a lot of charging points and a screen for your infotainment system. Just under the seats it has the drawers. And on my left side you can see it has a reading light, just like on the right side, with also some storage space, with a box, buttons for the general lighting, the ceiling, ceiling number two, blowing, side lights. Around the ventilation system you have ambient lighting and this large iPad. So with the iPad system you can control everything in this vehicle. The system control, here you can see the lighting for the ceiling, but the most important one, in my opinion, is the equipment. Here you can select the cameras, front camera, rear camera, but the most amazing one is the drive camera. This way you can see exactly what the driver does. Let's put it back in the charging position. It has the cup holder for your glasses and of course a garbage can which we can't miss here in this living room. 
So let's get up and we'll have a look at the gadgets in the front. I will put the stick back into position where it belongs. And here we have a large digital clock, not easy to miss the time, the temperature and the humidity. A large television screen. And now let's have a look at these gadgets over here. It looks like a small kitchen. It has the glasses and it fits perfectly for your passenger. A drawer with your Nespresso coffee mugs and the Nespresso pads. Here is a large fridge with your cloths and water bottles. And of course, not to forget this button right here. This is the Nespresso machine itself. So guys, thanks for watching Mersman's King. My Nespresso is done. And I hope you like this video. I will just put back the Nespresso machine. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.